Hello guys, we have a trending issue, a developing story right now happening all the way in Boronu State. It's a political um, developing story. At the moment, we gathered that the, the um, party headquarters of NNPP in Boronu State have been sealed up by the state government. We're still trying to get the reason behind the sealing up. But what we have gotten now is that the gubernatorial candidate of NNPP in Boronu State just spoke now. Just watch the video now and then we keep searching for more information to give you the updates. Just watch this one. So we wanted to actually have access into the compound, but we actually uh, uh, refused. So and that's exactly what happened. And uh, our senator candidate there actually is presently in under detention. Why is he detained? Hello? Why was he detained? We don't know. We don't know. He went there and he just boggled him and led him to the police reporters. So that's that's exactly the true position of it now. So what do you want to do now, sir? Uh, just like my chairman said, we are going to follow all the legal procedures, legal processes, to make sure that at least, at least, we we'll get right. And this is, this is should be done. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, before we go, can you please tell us your blueprints, your manifestation? Yes. Your party manifestation. Yes. Our party manifestation is very loud and clear. Um, first and foremost is that Bono is being um, has been in a state of in a state of uh, educational decay for a very long period of time, and uh, the children of the downtrodden are being denied their education. Our major manifesto is education, because when you educate tired. Just like saying, you educate a, a, a woman, you educate a nation. Now, the issue is that what we wanted to do is we want to actually solidify our basic primary education, at least by recruiting or by admitting the downtrodden children into the schools activities, and then we we'll provide them with food, feeding system, a free feeding system for all the primary school children and secondary school children. At least with that one, they should be encouraged, and the burden is not going to be much more like that. This is one of our things that I wanted to do. Okay. Thank you. Sir, sir. Sir. Your name, sir? My name is Dr. Omar al Sorry, sir. Finally, before you go, yes, sir. you contested for the governorship of the state yes. on the platform of APC. Yes. That means you are once a member of APC. Of course, yes. So why did you leave the APC? Are you not satisfied with it? I'm not satisfied with it because there was an injustice in the party. <laughs> That's exactly why I left. Thank you. There is no peer play, no content, nothing. You see, even the primary that actually had brought up, I'm not satisfied with it because there was an injustice in the party. Yeah. That's exactly why I left. There is no peer play, no content, nothing. You see, even the primary that actually had brought up Zulu, or brought in Zulu, you know, it's, we just, actually most of our people actually contested in the court. Even though some of us actually have agreed, we take a faith, okay, yeah, that's how God's want it, and then we stayed. But actually, if we went to the court, they contested even if they lost, and that's number one. Number two, as an APC member, or a gubernatorial aspirant of the APC, I have never participated in any activities of the party because I've never been invited for even for one day for a stakeholders meeting, mm -hmm. even for one day. So that means that's not a great recognition. Mm -hmm. And I have several, several at times I have sat down with the governor and advised him on what to do, but he doesn't listen. So what happened? So that's the main reason why we left the party, because this party is not a democratic party. To me, it's an autocratic party. Yeah. It's a party that's only being headed by one person. Yes. That person has worn the, the gowns or the garments of Almighty Allah. Whatever he decides, kun is kun, his fair kun is fair kun. Yes. Without him, you cannot become a messenger in this state. Yes. You cannot be, become a counselor in this state. Yes. And nobody has a right to tell us. Because we are educated, number one, we are highly exposed. And we, at least we have worked for like 30 years in the civil service before we finally retired voluntarily to come into politics. And we are not going to be turned by anybody. And we are not going to be intimidated or harassed by anybody. Yes. What we have done, we are going to do it. We'll and that sealing of the office that they did, it will not stop the coming of our leader, the Madhubu. Yes. It will not. We will continue. We will back group. That's what Nobody knows. This thing is ours. Yes. It's ours. It's for all of us. It's for nobody. Yeah. And we are going to fight them to the last. Yeah. What they see now is a threat. Because there was no, there was no opposition in the state before. 
the no. PDP, I was from the APC. The PDP is a faction of the APC. It's mm. a department of the APC. Mm. All their members are being sponsored by the, by, by, by the APC. Mm. Right. This is the only opposition party that stands in the state. Yes. This is the only opposition party. And we can say it anywhere. We can say it anywhere. Give me one again. But the now is the threat yes. that they are going to lose power. Yes. If, the government, if the, the APC government knows that they are popular, why are they fighting us? Mm. If not they are popular, why are they fighting us? That's the most important thing. They shouldn't fight us. This is democracy. That's the reason why the government provided so many platforms to, 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 